Hello. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to customize your HubSpot CRM dashboard. Okay, so the first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your HubSpot account. That's the web application. And how do you get to create an account on HubSpot? Pretty simple. Go ahead and launch in the browser of your choice once you do that. Head over to the search bar, which is usually at the top corner of your screen. In the search bar, type hubspot.com. That's going to take you to the official website. When you check the top right corner, you're going to find the Get HubSpot for free. Click on that button and follow through with the on-screen prompt to create your account. Now, after creating your account successfully, it's going to take you to this fantastic homepage where you can now explore a little features to have an exciting time in HubSpot. So now that we're here, let's hop into today's tag, which is how to customize your HubSpot CRM dashboard. First off, let's see how we can navigate the dashboard. So from here, this homepage, head over to the top corner of your screen where you're going to find a couple headings. Contact, conversations, marketing, sales, commerce, service, automation, and reporting. So head over to reporting and click on the drop-down menu icon. You're going to find an extended menu, dashboards, reports, and data management. So go ahead and click on dashboards. Now it's going to take you to the dashboard window, which of course we're seeing right here. It's loading up, and once it's downloading up, we're going to see all of the features. So we're here. Okay, first off, you're going to have to select the dashboard that you want to customize. Okay, so head over here, we have this marketing channel performance, and you have this drop down icon. So once you click on that, you're going to search you'll be able to search for the dashboard that you want to work on. So right now, I just have one dashboard, which is marketing channel performance. If you have created multiple, you're going to see a list of them here. Okay, so here you go. So let's say this is a dashboard that we have already created and we want to customize this dashboard. Okay, so here you have quick field tasks, which is the first option that we can definitely explore. So you can click on quick field tasks and see dynamic quick filters and you have create a quick filter so you can add dynamic quick filters to easily filter your dashboard quick filters persist on the dashboard until removed so where the dynamic quick filters like you can organize according to date range owners teams or you can even add and you can create a new quick filter all right by clicking on create and you just customize it so these quick filters act like dynamic quick filters but are they are static and they are customized. You can click on this create button and then go ahead and select your quick filter. So that's how to customize one. And then we have this dashboard filters. All right, so you have the dashboard filters and they're just coming right up. Okay, see so this dashboard includes seven data sources. All right, so add network properties. We have date range as the 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 first filter that we have okay so you can search across sources i don't know how you can and that says it says add networks you can click on this add networks to click let's see contact emails forms landing pages let's see contact so from contact here a couple more features that you can add that's become a customer day became a lead date became a marketing qualified date so all those features are just going to help you organize your report right it's going to help you organize them easily and then if you click on that you're going to see other options you can also select your filters based on emails right email properties and even forms all right from properties and landing pages as well all of them are just moved to a date range so you can just customize that once you click on that you'll be able to get your search easily facilitates your search so here you have manage dashboards you can click on manage dashboards to see how you can further manage your dashboard and do a lot of customization okay so this is loading right up So this is my dashboard marketing channel performance and I'm the owner and I'm assigned assign this to everyone and last viewed, last updated. You can even click on the next if there's a next or there's no next, it's just one page here. All right, so if you want to edit or customize the owners, you can click on this. So who owns it? You can click on this. You can say either only Amanda Mac or you can say anyone. So the whole thing changes. 
All right, so assigned to who you can customize this to. Do you assign to everyone or specific users and teams or do you assign to owner only? You can select that last updated. You can definitely enter in the month, the date and the year that you updated this dashboard. Okay, so here you have favorites if you have in social dashboards and you have rest or deleted dashboards or if you have deleted any. So I'm going to go all the way back to where we came from. Okay. I'm going to just show you the last thing that you can do in your process of customizing your dashboard in HubSpot CRM. So here you have uh, different segments, all right? You have different report segments that can also be edited and customized to suit what exactly you want. And as this is loading right up, I'm just going to show you right away. So you can just click on any of the segments. Like this is the first one, new visitor session totals by day with a source breakdown. Now, if you click on this, all right, it's still loading up. So, so click on the three dots menu and you're going to see an extended menu. Now you can refresh this. You can clone this. You can rename it. You can export. You can share this report to other team members and you can move this report you can change the owner you can add this to another dashboard and you can remove this from this entire dashboard and you can just delete everything completely now this also applies to other segments other report segments that you can definitely tweak so this is pretty much the process this is how you can customize your hotspot crm dashboard to enhance your reports Okay, so you can go over this tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps. And once you're done, you'll be good to go. I hope this tutorial marvelously helped your search.